Hello gardeners, welcome to the Living Soil Lab. Maybe your tomatoes produce abundant foliage but, you know, really struggle to set fruit, or your leafy greens develop these mysterious yellow patches, even though you're feeding them regularly. Your roses bloom weekly, while the gardens next door just burst with color. These frustrating scenarios actually share a common culprit that, honestly, most gardeners never even consider, trace mineral deficiency. Modern agricultural soils have been systematically stripped of the full spectrum of minerals that plants require for optimal health, leaving behind depleted ground that can support basic growth but, unfortunately, fails to deliver the vitality and resilience that really distinguish truly thriving plants from ones that are just surviving. While NPK fertilizers address the big three macronutrients, they completely ignore the dozens of trace elements that orchestrate everything from enzyme activation to disease resistance, leaving your plants chronically malnourished at the cellular level, even if they appear to be adequately fed. Ocean's untapped riches. Seawater contains every mineral element found in healthy soil, perfectly dissolved and ready for biological uptake in ratios that actually mirror the mineral composition of plant tissue itself. This isn't just a coincidence. Early plant life evolved in coastal environments where ocean spray and tidal flooding provided consistent mineral nutrition, and modern plants, well, they still carry those ancient requirements encoded in their DNA. Magnesium activates over 300 enzymatic processes, including chlorophyll production, which explains why magnesium-deficient plants show that telltale yellowing between leaf veins. Boron regulates calcium uptake and cell wall formation, making it absolutely critical for fruit set and preventing disorders like blossom and rot that frustrate tomato growers every season. Zinc drives auxin production, the growth hormone responsible for robust root development and strong stem growth, while manganese activates the enzymes that help plants resist fungal diseases and environmental stress. What makes ocean minerals particularly powerful is, well, their natural balance and bioavailability. Unlike isolated mineral supplements that can create imbalances or even lock up in the soil, ocean-derived minerals arrive in ionic form, surrounded by organic compounds from marine life. This really helps them stay soluble and accessible to plant roots. There's actually historical evidence backing up their effectiveness. Coastal agricultural regions have produced legendary crops for thousands of years. Traditional farmers in places like Japan, Ireland, and Scotland have applied seaweed and diluted seawater to their fields for centuries, noticing improvements that, honestly, modern science is just now beginning to quantify. Research from agricultural universities consistently shows that crops treated with ocean mineral solutions have enhanced photosynthetic efficiency, improved stress tolerance, and measurably higher nutrient density in the harvested produce compared to conventionally fertilized controls. So, let's talk about bringing the ocean to your soil in a safe, effective way. The best approach for home gardeners is to use concentrated ocean mineral products that are specifically formulated for agricultural use, instead of collecting raw seawater, which can have pollutants and too much sodium that might damage your soil over time. Liquid sea mineral concentrates, available from reputable organic gardening suppliers, have had the sodium reduced or removed, but they still retain the full spectrum of trace elements. Usually, these products call for dilution rates between 1 teaspoon and 2 tablespoons per gallon of water. This creates a mineral-rich foliar spray or soil drench that delivers concentrated nutrition but without the risk of salt buildup. Application timing and method significantly impact results. For foliar feeding, spray diluted ocean minerals on leaf surfaces during early morning or late evening when stomata are open and absorption is maximized, applying every two to three weeks throughout the growing season. This approach delivers minerals directly into plant tissue where they're needed most, bypassing potential soil chemistry issues that might lock up nutrients. For soil application, water diluted minerals into the root zone monthly, allowing them to interact with soil biology and become incorporated into the complex nutrient cycling processes that build long-term soil fertility. Seedlings benefit enormously from weekly applications at half strength, as their developing root systems need trace minerals to establish properly but can't yet access nutrients deep in the soil profile. 
Kelp meal and liquid seaweed extracts represent another powerful form of ocean mineral delivery that combines trace elements with plant growth hormones and beneficial polysaccharides. Work kelp meal into garden beds at planting time, using roughly 2 cups per 100 square feet, providing slow-release minerals throughout the season. Liquid seaweed works beautifully as a transplant solution with seedlings soaked in diluted extract before planting showing dramatically reduced transplant, shock, and, faster, establishment. For containers and raised beds where mineral depletion happens rapidly, alternate between ocean mineral concentrates and seaweed extracts every other week to maintain consistent trace element availability. Real-world transformations case studies and results. Gardeners who incorporate ocean minerals consistently report transformations that go beyond simple growth improvements. Tomato plants that previously dropped flowers due to calcium transport issues suddenly set fruit reliably after receiving regular ocean mineral drenches, as the balanced boron and magnesium content facilitates proper calcium movement within plant tissue. Brassicas that struggled with hollow stems and poor head formation develop dense, tight heads when sulfur and molybdenum from ocean minerals support proper protein synthesis. Rose enthusiasts observe deeper petal colors and more intense fragrance as the full micronutrient spectrum enables plants to produce the complex, aromatic compounds that create those signature scents. The pest and disease resistance improvements prove equally dramatic. Plants receiving adequate trace minerals develop thicker cell walls and produce higher levels of defensive compounds, making them genuinely less attractive to insects and more resistant to fungal infections. Gardeners battling recurring aphid problems find infestations diminish significantly once plants receive consistent ocean mineral nutrition, as healthier plants simply taste less appealing to sap-sucking insects that preferentially target stressed, mineral-deficient vegetation. The flavor improvements in homegrown produce become immediately apparent. Tomatoes taste more complex, lettuce develops better texture and sweetness, and herbs produce more concentrated essential oils that translate to stronger flavors in the kitchen. Your thriving garden starts now. Ocean minerals represent one of the most cost-effective, high-impact interventions available to home gardeners seeking genuine soil health and plant vitality rather than cosmetic greenery propped up by synthetic inputs. These ancient nutrients work synergistically with existing soil biology, supporting the complex relationships between plants, microbes, and minerals that create truly resilient garden ecosystems capable of withstanding environmental stresses while producing exceptional harvests. Start incorporating ocean minerals into your routine this week and document the changes you observe over the next month. Subscribe to the Living Soil Lab for detailed experiments comparing different ocean mineral products and application strategies, and share your results in the comments to help fellow gardeners discover which approaches work best in different climates and soil types. Together, we're rediscovering the mineral wealth that sustained agriculture for millennia, one thriving garden at a time.